All right guys, what's going on? In this video, we're going to be doing a race breakdown with 4AM NCAA All-American Jason Lauser. I wanted to break it down with Jason on what he saw in Hugo Gonzalez's 4AM NCAA record. It was a crazy swim. Everyone at the, uh, at the aquatic center was absolutely going crazy. I was in a bear suit, drenched in sweat. It was quite the night. Um, Jason, let's just get right into the video. Everyone, this is Jason Lauser, Cal. Going into this 4am, Jason, you were in the B final and you had just won the B final. Talk to me about what you said to Hugo behind the blocks. Right as I got out of the pool, I remember I was just kind of happy for my team. I feel like we were going in the right direction so early on, on Hell day yeah. two. And I feel like watching Sean and Hugo watch out was just like, I wanted to give them as much energy as I had left after the 400 IM to kind of see what they could do with it, get them stoked on it. Um, I mean, then I cheered for him. I mean, the whole race afterwards, I literally told Matt, like, I, I was about to pass out by the end of it. It was so awesome. I was, I just finished a 4 a.m. and cheering for Hugo. I mean, you only have so much oxygen, so. Yeah. It was a good time. It was fun. All right, so we're getting right into the video now. Yeah, this is a gnarly So there's you back there right there. Oh, yeah. So funny. No, I was right back there. I was, like, watching him walk out. Cruising off? Yeah, yeah. Dude absolutely popped off this year. Hats off to Jason. It was a good year, yeah, it was a good year. This is Bobby Fink, so oh, Bobby okay. Fink won last year. They yeah, were yeah, yeah, showing yeah. like Hugo, but like Hugo would have won from the B final, remember? Yeah. That was crazy. Like that just shows how good of an I am or Hugo is. Like he's got it in him and he's a racer. Doesn't matter if he has someone to race next to him or not, like he's a racer. Yeah, he played a big role in our team this year. And then Carson Foster, top qualifier, right? Top qualifier, yeah. Well, other than, I mean, I mean, yeah, we, sheet, we, we had Leon. You, you knew Leon was going to be there, though. Yeah, yeah. Was, like, after watching him at Pac 12s, like, I was just like, holy, this guy is the real deal. Yeah, like, real. it's always interesting to see what people can do at the end of the year. I mean, Texas had a really good midseason, so it's always interesting to see if they're going to match oh, or go yeah. better. Like, and then we have. Like Arizona, where a guy like Leon can just swim fast the whole time. You know? Look, this is so funny. They put Hugo Gonzalez, but it's actually Sean. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't notice they did that. I did not notice they did that. Oh, yeah. Damn. Dude, hands down, the swimmer of the meet, Leon Marchand, was like popping 100%. off this year. And he's so humble about it, too. And just like... Damn. That two breasts, too, right? Yeah. He won the two breasts, right? Holy... I think so, at least. That's crazy. They, they said that Hugo doesn't have... Oh, there they go. I thought they were saying that Hugo didn't have the speed to go out with uh, with the rest of the field. Yeah. But as you will see... My gosh. No. I feel like predicting a 400 IM. You just can't do it sometimes. Oh, the ads. The hardest part, I think, for me in that race and having a good one and a bad one is knowing how to preserve your energy in a way that's not hurting your swimming, but also in a way that like lets you finish the race strong. True, true. Like a 400 IM, you just have to map out what you're doing. And you have to be confident in that, especially when you're tapered and you're, you're yeah. fresh. You don't really know what you can do. He goes out so fast. I think it was, what, I mean, it was first 50 is 22-3. That, that's when everyone the in the whole, crowd started going crazy, and we knew. The whole like, race, he never goes out this fast. The whole race, he was just solid. And he, Hugo right now, if you look at his stroke, is trying so much less to swim butterfly. He was 47 going out, but it didn't show it. Did you see it said Foster at 48? I had no, I don't even look. I'm just watching the pool when I'm watching his race. That's interesting that you say that because I always look at the scoreboard. I don't You look just look right I at how watch, he's swimming. I watch everybody because you can have a shitty wall and you don't see it on the scoreboard. This is why I want to do a video with this guy. He's a very analytical guy. I look at the splits and no. I'm like a technical guy. You're all about stroke and like race analysis. And I think that's I think that's the most critical part. Yeah, definitely. That's what separates you from me, honestly, I think. Well, also, I just think it's the event that 
we're in. You're in the backstroke, but you're doing the same Very stroke true. for 200, you're maintaining a pace. We're doing four 100s of different strokes with like so different like amounts of energy and different transition turns. all different for It's everyone. just so complicated that you don't know if they're a breaststroker, you don't know if they're a backstroker. I mean, yeah. you might not know, but. I thought it was cool that Brooks Fail really was in there for most of the race and you knew he, he was, was gonna come home and quick and freestyle. He did a good job. I didn't, I didn't get a good like watch at his race because we were on the very opposite side. But look at that, dude. Hugo's just out so far ahead of everyone else. I love, yeah, his breaststroke oh is amazing. Wow. What do you think it feels like to be that far out ahead? Well, he the was 58, I right? Am. Was he 50? I couldn't he even might tell have been 59. You. I don't know. Something. But it was under a minute, and it was just dis disgusting. Well, like going into the final 100, let alone the final 50, and you're ahead by that much. What do you feel? Like, he's so far ahead. He has to know. Record. He has to know he's going so fast right now. Oh, yeah, no. Dude, look at you guys over there in the corner. You guys are going nuts. I was moving the freaking bounce how, how thing stoked I was holding us behind the pool. I love that photo at the end of the race of you, just Voldemort. I'm like, Dude. So crazy. Yeah, this going is going away. Down. I mean, Marshawn, honestly, at the end, everyone will yeah. point out Marshawn had incredible underwater. That is so true. Oh, watch. Finger up. He puts his finger up because he love knew it. he already won. I love it. Hugo deserved it, man. You guys are going nuts. There you are. Let's go. <laughs> Tyler's just like all the boys arm. up there in the bear suits. And those are just so, the first two races of the meet, and we were so stoked. Dude, when we took the we lead that like, night, that, that was think, insane. I think Reese mentioned it, but day two of the meet, or day two and a half, whatever you want to call it, is like dedicated for sometimes the 4IM. I mean, obviously in my lineup it definitely is, but like in terms of Cal and our depth, the 4IM is huge. That is where, we're, where our bread and butter is, really. Yeah. Yeah, and then we finish off the night with the backstrokes, and that's where our second bread and butter is, really. Yeah, and he took it out. That's exactly 140. That's what my 200 backstroke is. This is what this guy goes out in a four I am. Okay, but Hugo knew he was going to do this before the race. You don't just oh, you don't just go like oh we're going to see what we can do here. This guy was going for that record. There's no other way to put it. I mean, he put his finger up because he already knew. He knew it. Look at that's so sick. He knew it. Wow. And that's how you break. Who did that? Who did that that one time? I think it was Kalish who did that, right? Did he? No way. I wouldn't know that. I don't yeah. get like commentation it's, it's, while it's, I'm at the meet, you know? Yeah. It's all about the team race. It's and all like about everyone in the stands doing. is talking about it too. That's what everyone in the like, stands is focused on. It was on. weird. I was talking about You guys to, are just focused on. Yeah. I mentioned the Tyler Cobb like right after the meet. I was like, we didn't talk points like ever. I mean, Tyler, like, he was the, if you wanted to know about times and where everybody else was and how we're doing, you go to Tyler Cobb because he was crunching the numbers as they freaking happened. But he kept it to himself and, like, I didn't hear about it and the rest of the team really didn't hear about it. Like, That's we were good. just so dialed in. You got to have one of those no, guys, honestly. And I'm, like, grateful for, like, especially the last day when we go to Tyler. Like, we're, like, three events, three or four events. We're, like, all right, like, what are we looking at? Chances, like... The dude goes a 41 on our relay in 100 freestyle. Right, look at Tyler. He was always Tyler's standing in the so front. Stoked. He's he crunching knows numbers right now. He's like, he he's knows. looking good. That's too great video. Yeah. It's different watching the meet than being at the meet, for sure. Anyway, thank you guys for uh, watching this video. If you guys want to see more reaction videos with some of my other teammates, make sure to like this video, comment down below who you want to see next on the channel. Until next time. Go Bears. Go Bears.